everyone and welcome to my channel Isabel here and I'm so happy that today we can share some time together as always I want to start by welcoming aboard to all of my new subscribers thank you so very much for joining me here on my little crafty space I really hope that you find interesting adorable and of course inspiring everything that I share over here okay I have been sharing with you uh, some projects about Wednesday Adams. So this is the third video on my series. If you haven't uh, seen the other two, I'm going to be linking uh, the two videos in the description box. So make sure that you check them out because you're going to be in love with everything that I've been creating about this theme. Okay, I decided to create um, 13 memory decks cards in honor of Wednesday's birthday. She was born on a Friday the 13th, so that's why the 13 uh, cards. So if you have watched my other two videos, you are familiar with the first six cards. And so I am just going to show them to you in order, uh, no details, because there are, I talked about them in the other two videos, so you need to watch them, please. And then I'm going to be explaining the... Uh, the other seven that are the new ones for this video okay so this was the first card that i created super super adorable i just love 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 this one so this is the um holder that i'm using this is a plastic one that i've had on my collection for a very long time i picked this one from a yard sale so i just love the shape of it and that's why this is the one this is the winner for this uh, theme so that was my first card and then i created this other one super cute right and uh, I just have a lot of fun creating these little cards because they are so cute and I just love the size and you get to create in any color or any theme and they are so much fun so this is the, the third one and uh, then this is the number four super adorable okay so I used a variety of supplies like dyes just my paper trim, um, uh, trimmer, and uh, also my Cricut machine using some SVG files. And look at this one. This is the number uh, five. And so you get to create tons of stuff. As always, the sky is the limit. And for me, it's just having fun with what I'm creating. And of course, if I'm sending this to a swap partner, I always love to create something that not only that I feel proud of, but also something that I would love to receive as a swap. So these are the first six uh, Dex cards. I'm going to put this uh, folder over here. And then this is card number seven. So look at this cutie. So adorable. Nothing fancy for the base. Just a 4x4 four four piece of white cardstock. You know that I... Uh, um, cut two pieces, glue them together in order to create my bases being very sturdy. So I have tons of layers over here, paper that I just uh, uh, tore with my fingers. I have this beige over here. Then I have this other uh, white that I um, painted with some uh, uh, watercolors. And then I have this other one that has the checkers. I have these uh, coffee dots in both corners and then I created this A for Adams and this is uh, regular white uh, let me see yes regular white cardstock that, that then I colored with some watercolors and this uh, gold paint and I created this um, crest uh, in my Cricut machine and this cute Wednesday is a gorgeous girl and this is the one that I used. This is one of the Christmas uh, releases from some year. I'm not sure which year uh, this was released, but look at her. So what I did is that I trimmed the hat, okay? And uh, because of the braids, that's why I used this uh, stamp. But super, super cute. Look at this. So adorable. I just love this one okay so this is number seven and uh, then oops sorry about that I created this other one again I used the Cricut machine to create the text card I have half of a web 
uh, over here and I hope that you get to see that I have some like uh, hot glue strings over here like if a spider is walking around there as I said the other day I just can't handle spiders I don't like them they make me sick but I can deal with uh, spider webs as long as they are made out of paper <laughs> so what I did over here is that I used one of my crepe uh, paper rosettes super cute and I used a Tim Holtz tie for this one and then I added this cute ribbon over here once more these puffy dots over here and I used my label maker to create uh, the name over here and the image that you see over here this is a polka doodles uh, image she's already colored I just uh, fussy cut it and I think this card is super super cute right so then I created this other one again using my Cricut machine. This is an SVG file and of course I had to include the thing um, in the last series of uh, last year. Thing is a very important part of the uh, story. So of course I had to create this card and <laughs> this is so cute. So what I did is that I used uh, like this flesh color uh, when cutting the image and then I used black distress ink all around the edges and then some chalk pastel over here and uh, again my label maker for beware of the thing uh, saying and this is so super super cute right so uh, I think that this collection is just super cute and here is another card and uh, again nothing fancy for the base just a 4x4 piece of white cardstock and I use my Tim Holtz Deco Trimmer. If you see the uh, edges are like if you tear the paper with your fingers. But this is made with the uh, trimmer. Super cute. And then I use this plastic uh, adhesive pocket. And these are the ones that you usually get on the Target Dollar uh, Spot when uh, going back to school time comes. Right? So I use the Snap Snap uh stamp that comes in this CC Designs stamp set and I colored her with some watercolors and this is made with a paper punch this is a Martha Stewart punch for the leaves over here and then I created some uh, black flowers and if you see the shaker beads this time they are made out of paper so this is super super cute okay so that is my next card and then I created one of Wednesday's uh, boots super cute and this is super simple I found this image on the Cricut Design Space so I have uh, two different colors over here because uh, this boot is made with tons of layers and they're super adorable I added once more this cute ribbon uh, that I got from Michaels and then I found these beautiful jammies at the Dollar Tree and so I decided to decorate the book with these because I think they look super super adorable okay and so if you see I have different things but because this is all about Wednesday I decided to go with everything that reminded me of her and this is my next card super cute oh my goodness then once more the Tim Holtz uh, trimmer over here in all of the edges in a 4x4 piece of paper and uh, then I added this black layer over here regular black cardstock and then I added this other layer that is created with light gray cardstock and then I use my uh, scoring uh, tool to create uh, the appearance of a wall and I uh, tore some pieces with my fingers like here then in the corner and then here and I used some foam tape uh, in between oh actually this is not foam tape what I did is that I used a piece of foam uh, just to um, create some dimension over here and this is super cute the uh, tree over here that is in front of the Adams house I created this one with my Cricut machine and uh, the name of the um, the tree I created this with my label maker if you see once more I'm using the polka doodles image but this time I added some wink of Stella in her dress so this is 
super cute very simple cards as you can see but they are super super cute and adorable and uh, sometimes less is more right and my last card is super fun it is full of a lot of details and stuff that uh, remind me of uh, Wednesday for example I have her typewriter over here with the W for Wednesday I also have her cello over here and this image comes from uh, the Cricut Design Space and then I added this uh, picture of uh, Mr. Poe over here and I uh, created a frame with my Cricut machine and I added this gold paint to make it look like very vintage I have another puffy uh, dot over here and of course I had to include this image of the hide information this is the monster that she was uh, looking for in her series and uh, yeah this is my last card so if you see this is a lot of fun I think that all of these cards are super beautiful they are very interesting and uh, when you like some theme you can create different things and have a lot of fun and they have a great collection for yourself i love collecting these cards and this was so much fun so as i said at the beginning if you haven't watched my other two videos i recommend that you do um check them out because they are full of beautiful things i'm gonna be linking them in the description box and uh, i have one more video to finish my series but i'm still finishing some details on my last project so stay tuned okay so this is all for today ladies thank you so very much for joining me and i really hope that you get inspired and that you love all of these cards i'm in love with them and i have a blast creating each one of them so i will be back very very soon but in the meantime please remember to take care of yourselves to always have a huge smile and I'll be seeing you very soon, okay? Bye!